allow me to invite you to share with me our seven wonderful days in Puglia. We were there just before Easter and therefore witnessed some rather special moments in the wonderful churches everywhere. We started off in Bari and enjoyed the simple local people enjoying their jokes, like the fruit seller. The lady who does some rather special cooking, all very traditional. Here's the Pinatgoteca, some of the paintings I saw there. But mostly we enjoyed the outdoors with the wonderful architecture. The theatre, which promised wonderful concerts and inside the Baroque. And of course, sweets. Wherever you go, there are sweets. Fishermen early in the morning. And here, also early, I found this man. <laughs> making delightful puppets. We were lucky with the weather. Nice message too. And on we went to our next destination. On the way we stopped at Polignano. Absolutely delightful little place. Charming how it's located and how it's built. I decided not to include not to include talking about food or showing you pictures of lunches and dinners. It would only make you hungry. Just enjoy the images. The next stop was Monopoly. Again, wonderful colors of the Adriatic Sea and fabulous churches. Off to Lecce, where we spent two nights, the Roman theater here, Piazza del Duomo, splendid architecture. My husband planned it really beautifully and he also did all the driving. So our daughter and me could just enjoy every moment. Our last evening in Lecce. Certainly a place I'd like to return to. But then we went on to Alborbello. Not to stay, but to admire the Trulis. It was a drizzly day, but nevertheless very special and memorable. Again, over a thousand years history. Before we come to Matera. Matera is a most unusual place. Where they discovered caves that were lived in for over a thousand years. People lived in abject poverty once upon a time. But now some of it has been restored to absolute splendor, both caves and ancient palazzi. We were lucky enough to stay in one of them and enjoy a most tasteful renovation. From there we explored the beauty of this ancient city that is quite reminiscent to Jerusalem. Often they filmed biblical stories there, and you can see why. We woke up to a sumptuous breakfast in those ancient caves. Once it was a church carved into the soft stone. I said I will spare you photos of lunches and dinners because it would only make you hungry. Here, a museum where you can see how people lived with their animals 
From there we moved on to Trani, our last stop. Two days in beautiful Trani by the Adriatic Sea. Again, fishermen. And the seagulls enjoying the fishing too. Rather special pre-Easter ceremonies big community sense here, people celebrating, and we were so lucky to be able to witness some of those solemn celebrations. I also love the paving stones, so carefully made, witnessing thousands of years. very last morning we were surprised and touched to see these processions. The men in white are not clergy, they are laymen who are repentant. It's an old tradition, very special. Thank you for this experience. So we flew to Bari and from there with a hired car our first stop was Polignano Amare, Monopoly, all the way to Lecce, and from there, Alborabello, Matera, and finally Thank Trano. you for sharing. From there, Thank you for my husband again. who organized it all, and for the good weather. The last sight as we arrived at the airport was this flowering tree. I hope you enjoyed this, seven days in seven minutes.